Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. It's, no, no, it's, we're not here to share. We're here to build you up, you know what I'm saying? We're here to teach you your true nationality according to God. That's why I asked you what your nationality is. You understand? I asked you what your nationality is according to the Bible because today's society will call you, you will call you black or African or Caribbean, American. You understand? We're not called by the biblical name what God gave us. You understand? The Bible is full of 80 nations. Now we want to identify which nation we are, you understand? So us men out here today, we are going to show you according to the Bible what your nationality is, you understand? I'll start off, did your ancestors go through slavery? Did, did this happen to your ancestors? Colonization, slave ships, getting spread to other um, countries, taken to other countries, shall I say, did that happen to you? Okay then. What, um, if you don't mind me asking, what, what country are you originally from? Jamaica. Jamaica, okay then. Well, you know that slavery was prominent in Jamaica, yeah? The, the, a, lot of our, a lot of our last names, surnames are slave master names, yeah? You know the history of what happened in Jamaica. Now, would you find Jamaican in the Bible? No. You won't find Jamaican in the Bible. So, I'm going to show you your God-given name. Have you heard, uh, do you know much about the Bible? To be honest with you, um, my dad is like, he's from Newcastle. So he's English, but his dad's a Jamaican, but his name is Esther, so. Okay, so your dad was just born over here. Yeah, yeah. He's but his, his dad is Jamaican. My mom was born in Jamaica, but... Like, so basically I'm a mix of like Jamaican and English together. No, I don't read the Bible, darling, but my daughter does. A lot, a lot like most of us, we, yeah. we're born in a land that's not our homeland. Like more English than understood, English. sisters, understood. Don't worry about it. We're going to show you your, uh, your um, nationality, your heritage. We're going to show you your biblical ancestry, yeah? We're going to show you what your God calls you. Um, get me Deuteronomy 101. Yeah, do you know about Moses? Do you heard of the prophet Moses, yeah? The prophet Moses, when he was in Egypt, and he told Pharaoh, let my people go. Referring to the Israelites, yeah? Now, let's see, let's, let's get the context of everything. Because we read the Bible, but we don't know who it's referring to. Do you understand? We show that it's another race of people, but it's actually talking about us. Get Deuteronomy 101. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So, Moses in the Bible was speaking to all Israel. Just take, that's the context. Remember, Moses is speaking to all Israel. Let's see what Moses told all Israel. Um, get me Deuteronomy 20, 28, yeah, and 1. Let's see what Moses told Israel because... Moses ain't speaking to everyone, he's speaking to one nation. Let's see what he said to them. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice. 28 1, 28 1. 28 1. Yep. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So Moses is telling the nation of Israel, whilst they're free out of captivity to the Egyptians, he's telling them if they obey God's law, statutes and commandments, then the Most High will put them on high above all nations on the earth. Does that sound like equality to you? Does, 
it doesn't sound like equal. If God said that the nation of Israel will be on above all nations if they obey, what does that sound like? That doesn't sound like equality. You understand? It means there be there be a hierarchy. Do you understand? The nation of Israel will be on top, and other nations will be serving. Yeah. But would you say, because we are saying, according to the Bible, that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true Israelites that Moses spoken to, would you say that we are ruling right now? No. Would, we're not ruling. We're not, we're not ruling right now. You understand? There are people like moving away from black people. You couldn't get a mortgage until 1917. The English are getting a mortgage from 1500. Yes, sir. We're going to show you that in the Bible as well. So, Moses, yeah, he spoke to the Israelites and they told them if they keep the commandments, they'll be blessed to put on high above all nations. But the blacks, Hispanics, the Native Americans are not ruling right now. So, let's see the flip side because there's two sides to every story. Let's see the flip side. 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, so Moses says, but it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen if we don't obey God and keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Go on. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I have commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses said, if we don't obey the law, statutes, and commandments now, then curses are going to come unto that nation of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Now, brother, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, it's a bad thing, yeah? A curse isn't a good thing. So Moses said, bad things are going to happen to the nation of Israel if they don't abide in the law, statutes, and commandments. Now, let's read some of these things. Let's read some of these curses, these bad things that Moses said will happen to the nation of Israel because we can't go by the good things because we can't go by the blessings because we're not ruling right now. Do you understand? So let's read some of these curses. Get Start with 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So Moses said that these curses that we're going to bring out here shall be for a sign. The purpose of a sign is to show you something, yeah? If you want to know where to go, you look for the signs, yeah? Okay then. So these curses, if you want to know who the nation of Israel are, look at these curses, yeah? Go on. A sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. And for wonder and upon thy seed forever. You understand? You're going to wonder why did these curses happen? Who did these curses happen to? You understand? And upon thy seed forever. So, meaning that as long as we are disobeying God's law, statutes, and commandments, these curses are going to still be in effect. Do you understand? So let's read some of these curses. Let's read some of these curses. You tell me if. That happened to our people. Do you understand? Let's let's read some of them. Start with them. Um, Thirty-two. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse thirty-two. Thirty-two. Go on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. What nation of people had their sons and daughters given to someone else? Black people located. Okay, you understand? When you watch slave movies, um, Roots, 12 Years a Slave, Django, anything you watch, you'll see black children getting given to other people. You understand? No other nation went through this. But remember, we've got to get the whole of the context. We've got to get all the cases because it, some nations will say this happened to them, them as well. But we have to go by all of the cases. You understand? So let's carry on reading. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. So, remember, Moses is saying, for the disobedience, we have our sons and daughters taken from us, and we have no might to get them back. That means the Moses is going to take away our strength to get them back, to fight for our kids to get them back, yeah? That only happened to us. All we could do was long for them all the day long. Do you understand? Cry for them. That's it. That's all we could do. So let's jump to another curse. Um, get me 41. For, is it 41, yeah? 41. Okay. Please. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. So another curse to do with our sons and daughters. We'll have sons and daughters, but we will not be able to enjoy them. We will not be able to enjoy them. Now, 
I see, I don't know whose kids they are, but I see you got, there's some kids there. Now, that's, that's, that's your daughter, that's okay then. I will kill anybody that tries to take my daughter. Okay then, so, this, this, the, the curse is saying that we won't be able to enjoy them now. You enjoy seeing your children grow, don't ya? you? You both enjoy seeing your children grow, you understand? Um, is, is this your father? No, no, uncle. Uncle? Okay then, have you got kids sir? Yeah. You, when your children were growing up, you enjoyed watching them grow, didn't ya? But the curse is saying that we won't be able to enjoy these things, you understand? We won't be able to enjoy them. Let's see why we won't be able to enjoy our, our, our children, yeah? Thou shalt be... Oh, I get it. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. Read that again. They shall go into captivity. The, the curse says we won't be able to enjoy our sons and daughters because they shall go into captivity. They will go into captivity. Remember, we're giving you the history. We're giving you the... Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We're giving you the Israelites' history, yeah? We're giving you the Israelites' history. Now, Moses said that... Moses said that the Israelites... Their sons and daughters, they won't be able to enjoy, we won't be able to enjoy our sons and daughters because they will go into captivity. Do you understand? They'll go into captivity, slavery, bondage. From young, our children were given away as slaves. Do you understand? If you watch, if you look up history, you'll see that our children from younger than your kids were in the cotton fields. Do you understand? They were in the cotton fields picking cotton. Do you understand? Our children, if they never bought, if they never bought enough cotton in, they'll get their hands cut off. You understand? Their hands will get chopped off. These things are happening to our kids. Do you understand? No matter their age, we weren't able to enjoy them. Let's read the over curse. Let's get deeper into the curses. Um, Job to 48. 48. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 20, 28 and verse 48. Now listen to this. Listen to this, um, brothers and sisters. Listen to this. Because what you have to do here yeah, is get the common sense out of the book here. Yeah? Get the common sense out of the book. This book is not going to lie. You understand? The Bible is not going to lie. God is not the author of confusion. You understand? So listen to what God says about the Israelites and see what nation of people it matches up with you. Go on, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. So another curse, the children of Israel for disobedience, they'll have to serve their enemies, serve their enemies. Key word, their enemies more than one, yeah? More than one enemy that the Israelites will be serving. Carry on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against us. Meaning, the reason why these atrocities happened to us was because the most I put it on our nation. Do you understand? For disobedience. You understand? So go on. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So in hunger, thirst and nakedness, the three main things any anybody needs to survive, hunger, thirst and nakedness, you'll have to serve the enemies for you understand if you need water food or clothing you're gonna have to serve your enemies for these things do you understand go on and in want of all things and in want of all things in want of all things anything you want you're gonna have to serve you're gonna have to get it from your enemies birth certificates death certificates driving license housing anything you need you're gonna have to get from your enemies, you understand? You're gonna have to serve them. If you wanna learn your education, if you wanna get education, you understand? Education, schools, if you wanna know this Bible, you have to go to their um, theology schools, colleges, all of that, you understand? It's not your own people teaching you these things, it's another nation. Now, let's get deeper into this thing. Go on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he, talking about the enemy, is, will put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now, this do you know what a yoke of iron is? 
I, this is a yoke of iron. You know, in slavery, they had the yoke, the chains around our neck, and they had the big, they had the big things like they had this, the metal poles hanging off it. This, that is a yoke of iron. If you go to any slave museum, and you're, if you go to any slave museum, you're gonna see black people in yokes of iron. You understand? If you watch any slave movie, you're gonna see so-called black people with yokes of iron on their neck. Why? It's like they couldn't escape. Do you understand? Bring it out. Now. It's called submission. Do you understand? We were supposed to be submissive to the slave masters. Now, remember, the Bible is saying for disobedience, God, the Mosai is going to put yokes of iron on our necks. Do you understand? Yokes of iron on our necks. What nation of people had yokes of iron on their necks? Slavery. Our people is slavery. Do you understand? What you got to do is put the pieces to the puzzle. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.